In this Star Wars Jedi Survivor news update video, I will be sharing with you some big news, such as the new release dates, plus the collector's edition, and more. You won't want to miss any of these details, so stick around until the end of the video, plus subscribe to this channel so you won't miss any future news updates about Jedi Survivor. Honestly, this collector's edition is so exciting, and it's exactly what people wanted. I can't wait to show you. But first, let's talk about what happened last night. We finally got gameplay of Jedi Survivor, and it looks absolutely incredible, doesn't it? The gameplay trailer ended with the reveal of the release date, which is Friday, March 17th. It is not March 15th or 16th, as the Steam store previously leaked earlier this week. I wanted to make this clear because some people are still under the impression it's coming out on the 15th or 16th because everyone assumed the Steam store page was correct, but it actually wasn't. It was a few days early. So it is coming out a couple of days later, but it makes sense. Most games release on a Friday. That same leak from the Steam store page showed us low resolution images of the pre-order bonus and the deluxe edition, but thankfully we now have better pictures and official details. All of these cosmetics look awesome, especially the Obi-Wan Kenobi inspired skin. I know a lot of people will be enjoying this. It's great to finally get it in high resolution and not some really low resolution image from the Steam store page. Whilst the deluxe editions Luke Skywalker and Han Solo skins are also cool, I am disappointed that there is no behind the scenes documentary included this time, especially for the price increase. You're getting less for the deluxe edition and you're paying more. Sure, the cosmetics are cool, and better than the previous game. It also contained a portion of the full art book, but digital, plus that documentary, which was very, very good. It's just annoying to me that there isn't going to be a documentary unless they release it for free for everybody on YouTube after the game comes out, but still, I would have liked to have seen it part of the deluxe edition. Both the standard and deluxe editions of Jedi Survivor are now available to pre-order from any retailer that sells games, both disc and digital, so, you can go whichever way you want and pre-order it right now. On the plus side though, we are finally getting a collector's edition for an EA Star Wars game, and it includes the exact thing people have been wanting, Cow's lightsaber. Seriously, there is a limited edition amount of these being made, and you can get this awesome lightsaber hilt with the game, and even more stuff as well. Here is the image of the collector's edition showing off its entire contents, and I'll run through the list of things if you can't just see from the picture. So, it includes the deluxe edition on your chosen platform, either PC, Xbox, or PlayStation, plus Cow's lightsaber. This is the exact same Disneyland version that you can buy, which I bought this year, as you can see on the screen right now. But they are swapping out the broken hilt attachment with a repaired attachment, as seen in Jedi Survivor. All of this comes in this really awesome magnetic storage box that is based on the same one in the game as seen in the first teaser trailer, which is a very nice touch. Here is a picture of it in person, as they are being made as we speak, so this does come out for the release date. This collector's edition also includes a steelbook case, which I know people will enjoy, which does look nice. The remaining part of the collector's edition is a certificate of authenticity, because they are only making these in limited quantities. This is being made by Limited Run Games, a company that have partnered with EA and Lucasfilm to make this happen. So, it is an official collector's edition, but it's not being made by EA specifically, like most game publishers do. This collector's edition is not going to be available in your regular game stores or online retailers such as Amazon and GameStop. It's only going to be available through the limited run games website. You're probably wondering, what does this cost? Well, it was never going to be cheap because it includes an actual lightsaber and it's $300, which isn't too bad considering the game is $90, the Sabre Hilt is 160 It is pricey, but for a collector's piece, it doesn't seem too bad. However, when you add shipping and extra fees to anyone outside of the US, it's way too much. It's like 400 500 It's obviously ridiculous when you're getting it outside of America, unfortunately. I'm just glad more people will be able to get their hands on Cal's lightsaber though, because previously it was only available in the Disneyland and Disney World parks. They did then release it online, but they sold out almost instantly, and they're very rarely in stock. If you do want this though, you can pre-order it right now, and you probably should if you do want it, because it might sell out. They're making these in limited quantities. Which edition of the game are you getting? The standard edition, deluxe edition, or the collector's edition? Let me know down in the comment section below. I was going to get the collector's edition, 
I mean, that box is so cool, but I already have damage lightsaber, so I don't really need it. So I don't need this, so I'm just gonna go with a deluxe edition. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, please do drop likes to help support the channel and subscribe so you don't miss any future news updates about Jedi Survivor. If you missed any of the previous news updates, click on the playlist on the screen right now and I shall see you in my next Jedi Survivor video. Goodbye.